This is section 513, inverses and logarithms, and we're going to look at three ways to verify an inverse equation or function. So our today's objective, remember blues, write it down, gold, flashcard. We're going to review the three ways to verify if functions are inverses of each other, and we've examined three ways so far. So this lesson is almost like a recap, and you're going to notice that a lot of the information that we talk about in this, we've pretty much already done. So we're going to use the inverse definition, we're going to find the inverse, and then graphically. And those are going to be the three ways that we can tell if functions are inverses of each other. So the first one, let's verify if they're inverses of each other using the inverse definition. Now that inverse definition was this. Is f of g of x, does it equal x? So what I need to do to verify that is I need to do a composition. So I took my g of x and I plugged it in to my f function. So that's why I have 3 fifths, there's my g of x, minus 15. So now I need to simplify that. Well to do that I'm going to distribute and so now this will cancel out. 3 times 25 is 75 or I can just cancel out the fives here so then I have 3 times 15, or 5, which is 15, and then I still have the minus 15. 15 minus 15 is x. So that's the first way. Second way, find the inverse. So I need to just take one of the equations and then find the inverse of it and then compare them. So I need to switch the x and y's. So now I just want to get y by itself. So I'm going to add. 15 to both sides. Then, to get rid of the 3 fifths, I can multiply by the reciprocal, which is 5 thirds, because the 5's will cancel out and the 3's will cancel out. Over here, distribute, and so I get 5 thirds x. This is 5 times 15 over 3, or I can then simplify this part right here and that's going to be 75 over 3. Well, 75 over 3 is just 25. Because these are the same, I've shown that these are inverses. The third way is going to be graphically. Now I took these two functions, and I put them into Desmos. And then remember, the equation y equals x. Inverse functions will be symmetric over that so if functions are inverses of each other and so I graphed both of these and if you look they're both symmetric over it. if I fold over that line the graphs will line up with each other let's look at another example so the first is using the inverse definition so I'll use this so that means plug my g function into my f function. Now this is kind of weird. I plugged my g function in for x. So I still have that 2 on top here. And then I still have that plus 10. All I did was replace the x, which this would have been x, with 2 over x minus 10. This is awkward for us, right? It's like, whoa, how does that simplify? So let's kind of simplify that off to the side. This says 2 divided by this. And so I did that off to the side here. Well, whenever we're dividing with a fraction, I can change it into multiplication if I flip this. And now, because it's flipped, the 2's will cancel out. And so this will simplify just into x minus 10. The negative 10 and the positive 10 cancel out. And so I'm just left with x. So. They are inverses of each other. Now, just remember, we should also verify g of f of x. And does that also equal x? So you do it in the reverse order. Now, we're going to find the inverse. So I can just take this problem right here and find the inverse of it. So switch the x and y's. Get it by itself. So I'm going to get this y by itself. So I'm going to minus 10 on both sides. Now it's in the denominator, so I have to get it out of the denominator, and so multiply both sides by y, and so it'll cancel out here. 
then I need to divide both sides by this. And so if I divide both sides by that, I have this, which is the same as this. So therefore, I could use that inverse notation if I had wanted to. I could say, even to go further, I could say g of x equals f inverse of x, which is 2 over x minus 10. And then the last one is graphically. So remember, they will be symmetric over that line y equals x. And so I put both functions into Desmos. And if you look at it, they are symmetric. So therefore, they are inverses of each other. To conclude today's lesson, what did we learn today? Well, we just reviewed, essentially, the three different ways for us to verify if two functions are inverses of each other. Some important things that we should remember, the line that inverses are symmetric over are y equals x. We have to have that memorized. It's very important. And remember, what do we swap? We swap the x and y values. This does conclude our lesson. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments.